Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're making an influencer post that you can put on your Instagram and start running traffic to immediately and that will actually convert. So let's hop in. All right, so I'm going to go over two different methods of doing it because, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different ways, obviously, that you can make an ad, but these are two different ways that I use and I use them for different types of influencers and I'll go over that all here in just a bit. But, um, you know, obviously the first thing that you're going to need before you do an influencer post is you're going to need a product. So um, I know that this one sells very well. Um, it's the custom name necklace, especially now with Christmas and, uh, you know, Black Friday and all that stuff. It's selling pretty hot. So as you can see, like 6,000 orders, we're gonna click on it. And uh, what a lot of people do that I notice is that they just use like the straight up, uh, you know, white background here. And uh, I don't know, that's, to me, it just looks cheap. It looks like a stock photo and it doesn't really work. You never really see it get good conversions on Instagram. So instead what I do is, I'll, I'll show you two different methods, but, but one method is what I do is I, uh, I go down and click on the feedback and these are like all the reviews and uh, I'll click with pictures. So it's gonna bring up a bunch of reviews with uh, you know, photos of people um, that have you know, written reviews. And what we're looking for is somebody who's actually wearing the, uh, the thing. So like for example, this one, Jacqueline, she's wearing the necklace, you know, it's a, a decent quality photo. We might be able to find better if we look for more, but you know, just for example sake, what we'll do is we'll just save this. Uh, we'll save it as necklace. Uh, Save to the download, I'm gonna replace it. And cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is hop over to canva.com. Now I use Photoshop for the most part, but I realize that a lot of people don't have Photoshop. So um, yeah, we're gonna use Canva. Basically, you just need to, uh, to make an account. You can do that with either your email or Facebook and it'll bring you to this page. So we're gonna do it for social media and it'll make you like a perfect box, as you can see, one by one box here. And uh, let's just start up. So we're gonna upload an image and go to uh, the downloads here. And let's see where it was, necklace. Open that up and we will drag it in. And yeah, this photo isn't like the best quality, so we're probably definitely gonna wanna find a better quality one. Um, which you can definitely find in the reviews. You just have to look a little bit. So, um, but for right now, for example purposes, this will this will do fine, and uh, you know we'll be able to use it. So I'm I'm just resizing it right now to make sure it fits, and uh, let's hit cancel. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up with some text. Now let's find a decent font that, that looks kind of cool. Maybe like this one. So the first thing, uh, you know, just depending on your offer, if you're doing like a 50% off, if you're doing, you know, free plus shipping, if you're doing, uh, you know, some sort of buy one, get one free, the text is actually going to vary. Um, but let's just assume you're doing like a free plus shipping offer, which I definitely would not do for this, considering that it's like, how much is this? It's uh you know, nine bucks to, to buy it. So I, I definitely wouldn't do free plus shipping on this, but which is assume that you are and, and we'll, uh, we'll do it that way. So say 100% free and underneath in the subtitle would say uh, today only, okay? And usually what I like to do is, is make some colors that stand out. So like today only, we'll make it white, 100% free. We can mess around with some different stuff. Um, let's see, usually, uh, green doesn't really work. What about like a red? Red might work. And then I just like to resize it so it's you know a decent size. Put it up in a corner or something. And and yeah. And obviously again we, we're gonna have to switch out this photo because it's just not not great. But you can find those in the reviews. You can find some much better photos. Um, but yeah. So. This is the basic concept. You're just gonna do that, something like that. Um, if you want, you can add more info. Ideally, you don't wanna have a whole lot of text um, if, if you can avoid it. But the, the main point I'm trying to get across in this one is that you wanna have somebody actually wearing the product if it's like some sort of jewelry or, or uh, you know clothing or watch or something like that. You don't, don't want just a stock photo. Now, the second way that I use, and this is for um, products that are more geared towards a, a certain niche, um, especially, it especially works well with animals or even um, like trend products is, is this. So I know that uh, another product that sells pretty well is uh, these paw print necklaces. 
I don't know why necklaces sell really well on AliExpress. Um, but if you go to the orders, as you can see, like 2,400 orders, we'll go here. And instead of using this photo, what we're actually gonna do is, is again, go down to the reviews. So we'll go to the feedback uh, with pictures. And let's see, what I wanna do with this is I wanna have two photos and I'm gonna assume that I'm, I'm working with a dog niche, right? So uh, people that are interested in dogs will also be interested in this paw print necklace, hopefully, and that's, I, I kinda wanna connect the two through using some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of emotional device. So what I'm gonna do is, is use one photo of a dog that's like super cute that people wanna like and comment on, and then two photos of the product. So uh, let's just see if we can find some, let's see. I'm gonna find some higher quality photos, hopefully this time, like, okay, so this one's high quality. So we'll do, um, let's see if we can find it a little bit nicer. Oh, look at that, okay. So we got this lady wearing it. So we'll save this one. Um, just did a download, save that, and then let's see if we can find some more, just another decent, um, you know, picture of the product, let's see, um, it's a quality photo, okay, like, like this one, this is a good quality photo of the product, so let's do, uh, save that one, we're going to save that one to the downloads as well. And we're going to hop on back over to Canva and we're going to make ourselves a new, uh, let's do file, save this one, and then how do we go back? Create design, and we're going to do social media. So we're all lined up. Uh, so what we're going to do is just grab these photos. And, and drag them in. So let's go to uploads. So we're going to upload both of those. Drag them in here. Resize it. And, and kind of what I'm looking for is to make uh, one large photo here on the left and then two stacked on top of each other. Kind of like what you see in memes. I'm sure you've seen these kind of photos before. Um, so we're going to do one there. And then this one we'll drag in. Resize it. And I, I usually like to leave a little bit of white space just so, uh, you know, there's some breathing room. But we'll make these about the same size. Okay. And then here I want to find like a cute picture of a dog or something. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just type in uh, cute dog waving or something like that. And we'll go to images. And the reason I'm doing waving is because I want to like have them show their paw print. So like something like this would be really good. Something like this would be good as well, but it just kind of looks like a stock photo. Let's see. If, sometimes if you do uh, tools and you view it by large size, sometimes you, you get some better results as well. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so, so here's one. And this is like, you know, decent quality and it's also a large photo. So save it to the download, save that. And cool, we'll hop back on over to Canva and let's just drag this one in. So we're gonna upload, download, let's see. All the waving, there we go. And we'll drag this guy in, we'll make it fit the screen. And let's actually flip it so that his paw is on the right side. So we'll flip horizontally and resize it just a bit. Let's see. I want to get a little bit of white space. So let's zoom out, see if we can get a little bit of white space there. Okay, cool. So if you want to, you could add some text to this as well. Uh, it's not necessary. If you were, you could put it up here and just say something like, oh, isn't he so cute or something like that. Um, but yeah, so these kind of ads work especially well if you're dealing with animals, if you're dealing with anything uh, trendy. And uh, it really works for connecting some sort of emotion with the product because, you know, if you just have this, then it's, you know, it's kind of whatever. Um, but if you have like some sort of emotion, like, oh, it's a cute dog, oh, and then they want to like it and actually see what the caption is, 
then you kind of because the entire photo the reason that you have a photo in the first place is just so they can read the caption so they, they can actually go to your website so you really want to captivate them with the photo and i think something like this would be super captivating oh and uh the last thing that you want to do uh obviously is you want to download it so you just come up here hit download um i just download it as a, as a normal jpeg it's smaller files um just hit download and it'll download it for you so hopefully these tips were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the like if you like the videos. It lets me know that you want me to do these every single day and keep pumping out the content for you guys. Lastly, let me know in the comments what you want to learn from the next videos. Uh, you know, if there's anything that's standing in your way, if there's anything that you're confused on, let me know in the comments below and uh, you know we'll try to make some videos on that. So again, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh, yeah, I need you in the Oh, oh, why'd you leave without